Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I want to do a quick uh, video on my glasses, glasses update. So there's a couple things I wanted to go over here. All right, these are the ones that I got from my uh, eye doctor. Um, the first time I went, years ago, this is, let's see, a guess. You know, guess like the clothing brand. So I picked these because they were the, I don't know, the best option from the wall that they had. I went to a little like mom and pop shop, um, eyeglass uh, place or eye doctor rather and um, you know after uh, I you know he decided that I needed glasses they told me to pick one from the wall and so like I didn't really know much about glasses or anything like that so I kind of like looked around and by the way my eyes were dilated I don't know why <laughs> it's probably on purpose but they dilated my eyes first uh, to take a look at them and if you're not familiar with that your your vision's very blurry up close right so they literally dilated my eyes and said, all right, well, look around with blurry eyes and try to figure out glasses that you like. And I picked these. They were the least offensive. I thought they were just pretty neutral style and shape and everything. And uh, then I didn't like them, right? I, I just could not get used to the, uh, the actual uh, prescription, and I, I set them aside. So then like a year or two goes by, and I was recently having dizziness and stuff, if you haven't seen the, the first video. And um, I decided to go back to the eye doctor. Went back to an eye doctor said, yeah, you should absolutely have glasses. I have astigmatism in my left eye. Uh, it's from uh, an, an old injury. I think I did a video on it years ago. I actually wore a little pirate uh, patch on my eye for a while. I was taking apart a Glock 17 magazine, and the spring and follower hit me right in the cornea of my eye and, it, you know, cut my eye. Pretty nasty stuff, extremely painful. But anyway, that created a uh, some scar tissue, which created a stigma or stigmatism. So long story short... I need glasses. I got these glasses, did a video on them. And uh, when I made that video, I'd ask people, you know, suggestions for different glasses. And I got a ton of messages from people um, from a bunch of different companies. Now, the glasses I have in my head right now are from a company called Zenni, Z-E-N-N-I. Um, we also tried glasses from Warby Parker, but I found that they're a little bit, like, they're kind of limited on the glasses that were in my price range, you know? They have a ton of glasses for like 100 bucks. Um, but then once you put lenses and all that other stuff in it, it becomes pretty expensive. Uh, a bunch of you guys recommended Zenny, and my wife had heard about the company through other YouTubers that she watches, and uh, that's what I ended up with, some Zenny glasses. So it's Z-E-N-N-I. Um, here's obviously the free cases that came with it. These are super, super cheap. So um, I got this pair, I got a pair of safety glasses, which I don't have with me because I keep it with all my shooting stuff, so they're actually impact resistant, in case, God forbid, something flies back at me, you know, hits me in the face. Yeah, you guys told me about this uh, this company. I checked it out. They are super, super cheap. Like, you can get prescription glasses as cheap as, like, 20 bucks, which was insane. Now, these weren't $20, because um, I wanted, um, you know, all the anti-reflective and anti-fog and all that kind of stuff on it. Now, one thing I want to talk about real quick is the blue light filter or blue light film that they put on these lenses. It's supposed to help protect your eyes from harmful blue light from looking at different monitors and screens and things like that. Now, my wife's done a, a ton of research on this, and there's very conflicting information out there. From everything that we've seen and everything I've heard, it, it's, there's a lot of marketing there. These uh, you know, eye doctors and these companies, they make a lot of money selling you this film, and there's not a whole lot of proof that it's actually helping your eyes. All right? Some people will scare you at the doctor's office and tell you, you know, if you don't have this, your eyes are going to degenerate faster, and you're going to be blind, and horrible stuff. And uh, at the end of the day, they're making money throwing on this film. And some die, eye doctors will charge you as little as like 5 or $10 for the film, and some will charge you $100 or more. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, I didn't know this until after the fact. When I got these lenses, I asked for it because they were pitching it to me, and they're saying, you know, you should get this light. Do you, do you go on the computer a lot? Well, hello, it's 2021. Yeah, I look at a lot of screens. You know, who doesn't? <laughs> so they kind of scared me into it, and I ended up getting it on there. I think they charged me like 50 or $60 for it, which is ridiculous. Um... But the reason I'm talking about this is because I opted it. I opted for that same blue light protection or whatever on these lenses. And when my wife ordered, because she ordered the Zennies first. She wanted to try it out first. She got glasses that she absolutely loves. I'll actually insert a picture of her glasses right now. She was extremely happy with them. Super, super cheap. I think she got two, maybe even three pairs. I know she bought at least two that I can think of right now sunglasses as well as regular prescription well prescription sunglasses as well as uh, regular prescription glasses but anyway um when she ordered hers it came with like a free little laser light okay which was representing blue light and just on a whim we decided to test all of our glasses right she tested hers from zenny and it, it kind of cut like if you put the light 
on the wall, you can see the, the bright blue light. And then uh, when you put it through the lens, you can see that it, it dulls that light. It takes like 90% of that light away. You can barely see it. So I tried on these glasses after I got them, and same thing. It was actually protecting the light, and just I figured out, oh, let me try it on these glasses. It didn't do crap. The, the light literally shined through these lenses like the lenses weren't even there. So whatever film they put on at that doctor is definitely different than whatever they used at Zenny and I'm sure other places. Now, of course, you guys let me know your opinion on the whole thing, if you've learned about blue light protection all that kind of stuff, but I honestly think it's a sham. I, I think it's just another way to just build up the bill when you're getting glasses. Personal opinion, again, I can't back that by proof of anything. I could just tell you that, um, you know, if you're staring at a screen for a long period of time, you're going to get dry, irritated eyes, period. It doesn't mean that your eyes are falling apart or they're degenerating. Personal opinion. So anyway, um, I didn't want to just mention, you know, because I never had glasses before, or wore them consistently, um, wearing these glasses 24-7 was a chore. It was really, really weird for me. It took me months to actually get used to it. Uh, I don't think it's a normal glasses thing. I think it's a me thing because as a doctor was explaining to me that I'm one of the hardest uh, patients to convince they need glasses because if I take glasses off, I can see. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can see fine, you know? Um, it's a distance, like real distance, like, I don't know, 70 yards, 80 yards where things are a little blurry, maybe signs are a little harder to read. Um, but what he was explaining is that my right eye is compensating so much my left eye, and that's why I started getting dizziness, I would get headaches all the time, things like that. So if you have a, happen to have a astigmatism, it doesn't seem like you need glasses, but you probably do. And in the, in the, uh, you know, the long term, it's just good to start wearing them now. So that's why I finally just, you know, I, I've kind of given up on the idea of not wearing glasses because it's a pain. It's a pain to have glasses. I can't tell you. I, I made a joke uh, recently. Uh, I think one of my family members just saying that, like, you know, I, I feel like I spend half my life cleaning my glasses because you're constantly cleaning them. Everything. And not, not just even touching them, just like dust floating around. Um, you don't even realize you might bump into them and then there's like a smudge and, and it's just, it's so annoying having glasses and, and anyone watching this who has them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you might recommend like uh, contacts. Contacts are totally different. You need a totally different prescription for contacts, which I don't have right now. Um, I might consider them, you know, down the road, but right now it's, it's totally not necessary. I'm, I'm kind of used to wearing glasses, but anyway, I kind of want to make the video to give you an update on my experience with glasses, uh, you know, overall, but also to say I am very, very thankful that someone recommended the, the Zennies. I really highly recommend them. Super comfortable. I just want to do something different. So I got the clear frames. I mean, it's just, it's, it's all clear. Clear arms, clear, you know, frames. Um, I don't feel like I see as much. Obviously, the first pair that I got are, they look black, but they're super dark brown with a little bit of, like, tortoise in it. But when I wear these, I can uh, kind of, you know, I'm aware of the darker frame, you know what I'm saying, for peripheral vision. I kind of got used to it where I'm not super focused on it as much as I was in the beginning. But wearing the, uh, the clear ones, it definitely makes a difference. I realized that I need to get all new sunglasses because I can't. I have to wear prescription glasses for everything. So all my sunglasses that I have for like fishing and hanging out and stuff in the summer, um, they all have to be changed. So that's why I ended up with this pair. So let me show you those real quick. I <laughs> I kind of went with uh, this style, which makes me laugh because it makes me think of um, uh, what is it? Uh, Hangover, the Hangover movies. So uh, I put these on. What they look like? But I love them. Really, they, they, I mean, I think they work. You, you let me know what you think. I might get some different styles in the future. Uh, these are prescription lenses. I went with this kind of, you know, reddish flame type tint. They're, they have everything you can think of, of course. Um, but I mean, these sunglasses, you can get prescription sunglasses for like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I want to give you guys an update. I wanted to see, you know, comment down below. Do you guys wear glasses? When did you start wearing glasses? Uh, if you started when you're a kid, it's not a big deal. You have a whole lifetime, you know, uh, used to wearing them. But as an adult, being in my 30s and just randomly having to have glasses to avoid being dizzy and having headaches, it just stinks. It's a reminder. I'm getting older. You know, my eyes are falling apart. Uh, things are catching up with me, so to speak. Um, but, you know, I've embraced it. It is what it is now at this point. So I wanted to uh, share that with you guys. Um, yeah, there's probably a lot of people out there walking around that need glasses that don't get glasses because things aren't a problem until it's a problem. You know, like my vision, I've never felt like, I never felt like, oh, I really need glasses. I can't see. You know what I mean? That that was the overall thought to me is that, oh, if you can't see, then go get some glasses. You probably need them, right? But it's not like that. There's people who think they can see fine and they have no idea they're missing out. 
with glasses now, I can actually see, I can read signs, you know, further. Um, the adjustment period was longer for me because of the stigmatism. I think that if you have normal degenerating eyes, like, you know, you have a, maybe you need a slight prescription or something, you'd probably acclimate a lot quicker than I did. It took me months. So that is a question out there. If you guys have astigmatism when you first got glasses, how long did it take for your eyes to adjust to them? Because for me, it was like, it was so weird when I put the glasses on, it felt like my left eye was straight and my right eye was like crooked. It, it felt like I was trying to do like cross eyes or something. It was really weird. Um, and now, because I'm so used to lenses, when I take them off, it feels slightly like that. Like my left eye feels totally straight and my right eye feels like a little bit in. You know, but if I leave them off for like five minutes, then my eyes kind of like slowly adjust back to where they're supposed to be, I suppose. Anyway, I just want to give you guys an update on the glasses and really just thank you. Uh, Zenny has been awesome. I appreciate the, the recommendation. They, it's just super, super cheap. Um, you guys have recommended stuff to me over the years, not just, you know, knives and gear, mainly what I'm doing on the channel, but just random things. And I've looked into it and I've actually gone and done it. Um, one person sent me a message, totally unrelated, but they were talking about uh, different neck knife lanyard options. You know, I mean, the actual cordage. They gave me a, a fantastic idea I never really thought of. So uh, the next time I'm out in the store, I'll probably do a video on that as well. So I listen to you guys. You know, you listen to me. I make recommendations on things. I talk about different types of products and knives. Like I said, gear mostly. Um, and sometimes people, they'll see the video and they'll go get it and they'll send me a message like, oh, thanks. I never knew this existed. Well, you guys do that to me all the time. So really, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. When you go and you get your uh, eye exam done, right, and you need a prescription for glasses, you have a prescription. Now, the first eye doctor I went to didn't even want to give me my prescription. The reason why is because they wanted me to buy glasses at their shop. They make a lot of their money on glasses sales, right, as opposed to the actual exam. I mean, they make money from exams. They make money for treatments and things like that. Um, but they make a, a good chunk of their money from the actual sales of glasses and lenses. So the first eye doctor didn't even want to give me my prescription, which is like insane to some people. Then when I went to the other place, because I wasn't super happy with the first place. So when I went to the second place, they had no problem giving me my prescription, but they wouldn't give me my PD. Your PD is your pupillary distance. That is basically how wide or narrow your pupils are. Okay, the center of your pupils, the center of your eyes, there's a distance. Some people have eyes really close together. Like my eyes are kind of close together compared to some people. Some people's eyes are like way set apart. But that distance is super, super important because that's the center of the focus on the lenses. So when you make lenses for glasses, you have to know the PD number. They didn't want to give me that. And it was specifically so that I would buy glasses through them and not buy glasses on the internet. Now, I get the business aspect of the whole thing, but I think as a doctor, your first obedience, your first goal is to help your patients as much as possible right and your glasses in the store like they're usually expensive you're obviously limited to whatever they have there so let's say they have 200 pairs well that seems like a lot but maybe you look through them and you're like i don't like any of these so you're, you're kind of forced to pick one of those i had to fight tooth and nail and I, he still wouldn't give it to me it, they he kind of like the the eye doctor he blew me off because i asked the question i'm like and i was very blunt about it i'm like well you're not giving me the pd this is like on the third trip by the way i went the first time checked the thing got the lenses, came back to check and make sure everything's cool. And all three times I was asking like, oh, can I get the PD number? And uh, he's like, I'll just talk to the nurses when you get up front or whatever. And then when I get there up front, they'd be like, oh, sorry, I, I, we can't give you that information. I'm like, why can't you give me the information? Oh, I'm sorry, the doctor just doesn't give the information out. And it was only after looking online and realizing why they're doing that. The third time I talked to the actual eye doctor, I point blank, I'm like, you know, do I have to pay for this? Like, cause I was getting really aggravated. I'm like, can I get my PD number? Oh, just talk to nurse. I'm like, you told me that already. I don't want to talk to nurses. They're not going to give it to me. I'm asking you if you're going to give it to me because I feel like you don't want to because you want to make money on glasses. I said, I may not like the glasses out there or I may not be able to afford those glasses. And he, he was kind of like flustered. He didn't know what to say. And then, oh, I'm, I'm you know, sorry about that. Um, whatever, such and such nurse, she can help you out up front. Guess what? Went up front and that's it. They couldn't give it to me. So at that point I gave up. Now, I don't think I'm going to go back to this eye doctor again, specifically for that reason. It just rubbed me the wrong way. I just, I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? I was offering to buy it. I'm like, look, dude, I'll give you like 20 bucks, 50 bucks. Like, what do you want for that? Because it's going to save me money buying glasses online. Ultimately, you could find your PD. They have phone apps to find it, although I wouldn't necessarily trust that. But they sell tools. Um, actually, when uh, we got glasses from Zenny, they, they gave the plastic piece that shows how to measure your PD. So you have a friend do it, because if you do it in the mirror, it's not really that accurate. 
you have a friend look you put the little ruler up and they you literally match it in between both of your pupils and it gives you the pd number so there's ways to definitely get the pd cheaper you know figure it out yourself but i thought that was total bs i really i just and i've talked to other people about this some eye doctors have no problem giving out some eye doctors don't if they don't want to give you a prescription like i said some don't want to give a prescription at all which is crazy um and then some will give the prescription but not the pd and their hope is obviously, you know, okay, you buy glasses online and then they're not right because your PD is off. And then so you come back to the eye doctor and guess what? They make more money. So unfortunately, that's what it is. That's business. People like making money. There's no problem making money. I get it. I have no problem giving them money for a service. But that's something that I think is, um, I don't know, it's a little messed up. Same deal with the uh, the blue light stuff. It's, it's a little shady to me. Um, but anyway... That's that. I just figured I'd, I'd talk about that a little bit since uh, I was pretty annoyed by it. Uh, but let me know your experience when you go to your eye doctor. Um, and I know there's a difference between, what is it, an ophthalmologist and an optometrist? Those are two different eye doctors. One is definitely more qualified than the other. I don't know which is which, and I forget which place I went to, but probably the less qualified, if I had to guess. <laughs> but regardless, I am happy. I end up with glasses at work. These glasses actually had to be adjusted three times uh, when they put the lenses in. First, there was a lens that was a scratch in it from the lens place. So I had to wait like uh, two or three days. They got a new lens. They popped them in. And then they actually like the frames themselves, they, they bent upwards this way. Okay. Because it still wasn't like my pupils really weren't where they're supposed to be. So after all that, the eye doctor that I got the lenses from didn't even get the PD right to begin with. So maybe it was a, a, a blessing that he never gave it to me. But I ended up using the tool uh, from Christina's, the Zenny tool that they sent for free, which was pretty cool. And I used that to get mine because she got her glasses first. Um, and it worked out perfect. These glasses are actually, they seem clearer than the originals even. Um, you know, so I don't know. Maybe it's because the, the frames weren't bent. I mean, now they both seem the same. Uh, they're pretty equal. But anyway, just thought I'd uh, make a video, talk about that a little bit. Uh, glasses are a huge pain in the butt and they're very costly, but you know what? Like I said, um, be able to see very clearly is, is a good thing. <laughs> and I have to say that the little bonus I, I've noticed so far is the natural eye protection. Like random things might shoot up in my face or whatever and it's on my glasses instead of in my eyes, which is pretty nice. So yeah, that's been kind of a bonus, which is nice. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.